You're known as one of the biggest people to grace house music. What do you think of the house music scene at the moment? I think that you know we got to get into more songs and you know more of character to the to the record because you can't identify the records if they're just tracks. You know, a little bit more vocal sampling or something. You know, something to make the record more identifiable. You're always known for pushing your music forward, anyway. Do you think that that's why you've got a lot of media flack in the past? Uh, I. I just do what I do, you know, as far as media, you know, I'm waiting for media to do their record, so yeah. when media does their record, then I'll have something to say. I think a lot of DJs at the moment, though, are, are guilty of riding on the sand at the moment and not pushing forward. Yeah, well, you know, that's going to happen. I guess they have to play it safe in the position that they are, but as far as me, I'm, I'm going to just do what I, I think is best, what I feel, you know, rather. You know, I'm going to make it happen for me. Your album Revolutions is a mixture of drum and bass and hip hop. Are you working on anything at the moment? Yeah, I have a, a Resolutions 2. It's, it's kind of a continuous play of just like a bunch of drum and bass. I wouldn't say drum and bass because my stuff is like not drum and bass dead on. It's a little bit uh, different, I guess, more Miami bass. And then I'm working on a new house album, which I finished as well with Antoinette Robinson and Shaka Khan. And you're known as the guy that, that the heavy mob call in when a, a career needs tweaking. I mean, are you working on any remixes at the moment? Uh, yeah, I just did uh, Santana. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm working on them like crazy, yeah. What do you like to add to a track when you're remixing it? Well, I, I really like to have a, a great song and work from their great song. I think that's, that's adding to it itself, picking the right song. When you've been quoted as saying that you understand people that stand around DJ boxes and watch the DJs because you've done it yourself, yeah. do you think that's the best place to learn to DJ? Oh, I don't think you can learn it from that. You have to actually have your equipment and uh, kind of get into it yourself. But, you know, you learn a lot. You learn how to catch on to the feel of it, you know, okay. learn to understand. There must be so many people out there, so many DJs that look up to you. Is there anybody you look up to? Uh, well, I'm looking up to the people that look up to me because that's just carrying me through, you know, and uh, that's that's always a good thing, always good. You first came over to the UK in 88 for the Sleeping Bag Records party at mm -hmm. Wardour Street in Soho, and you were surprised by the way that the UK actually received you. Are you still surprised each time you come over? Yeah, you know, it definitely makes me want to go home and do more records, I guess, you know, so that's, it's definitely cool. I love the feeling of uh, what England brings. You over here quite a lot? Yeah, every night. I haven't been over here for a while. This is actually the first time in like a year and a half, but this year I'm going to start touring again. Yeah. I was told earlier on to get you talking, I need to talk about boxing, but I don't know anything about boxing. <laughs> so, let's talk boxing. Uh, uh, Lennox Lewis, Mike Tyson. That's the fight we want to see. I don't know. That's about it. I was talking to my boys over there. So, we, yeah, we got into the boxing thing. Yeah, it was crazy. We actually wanted to box each other, it looked like. Yeah. All right, okay. It was a fight. It was a fight. <laughs>